Hello to my YT fam, my YT fam, um, my YT fam. Welcome to my video, welcome to my live, welcome to our house, my YT fam. Hey, 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 my YT fam, my YT fam. Welcome to my video, welcome to my live, welcome to our house, my YT fam. Hey, 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 okay. To my YT fam, my name is Sherry's. Of uh, this is my channel, Sherry's Family Channel, and um, um, I know that this person wanted to know how come I didn't have kids when I was younger. Am I right, babe? Yeah. Well. So, I'm going to start off by saying this. Get you a cup of tea or a cup of water or whatever you want to drink. Sit back. And relax. And relax. Because I'm back with another video. And I'm going to answer, I'm gonna answer this, this question that this person wanted to know. How come I didn't have no kids when I was younger? And so, Babe knows part of it. He knows he knows most of it, cause me and him, me and Babe, we talk all the time, you know. But the reason why I did not have kids when I was coming up, when I was younger. And I'm going to tell you, I know you're not trying to be mean or be negative, but this person said, how come you didn't have, how come you didn't try to have children when you were younger? And I know a baby, I know a baby, I know babysitting and raising your own child is totally different. Babysitting is like when you babysit for somebody and you can send them home anytime. And I know when you have your own children, they there with you 24-7. 24-7. So when God blesses me to have a child, yeah, my child is going to be with me 24-7. So yes. As long as I got my faith in God and put my trust in God, I know God has me. God will protect me. He will help me raise up my child. And the reason why I didn't have no kids when I was younger is because my childhood. I didn't, how how'd you, how'd you say that a while ago? I, my childhood, my childhood was robbed. Wow. When your childhood, when I, when I was younger, and the reason why I say to make some of you all to let you to make some of you all understand the reason why I say my childhood was robbed from me when I was younger. Rob means like you have no freedom. When I was, when I, I'm going to say it like this, when I was adopted, I was adopted. And this could help somebody else along the way. Am I right, babe? Oh, yes. Wake up some kids, that thing. You know, when I was adopted, I was three years old. I might as well just say it. I was three years old. But I was with some of, uh, I was with this family the lady that that finally took me and my brother in she really didn't want no kids she only wanted two boys two boys now I pray this touches somebody's heart out there babe babe understands what I'm talking about oh yeah but she only wanted two boys she didn't want no girls so my brother has said, has said this, 
This is my testimony to somebody out here. My brother has said this. If you're not going to take my sister, I'm not coming. I'm not, I'm not going to come and live with y'all. So, she kind of like, mm. like, then I guess it, you know, made her change her mind. Like, okay. You know, because my brother wasn't going to leave without me. He wouldn't fit it. He wouldn't fit it get us separated. Because that was my oldest brother. But as time went on, you know, when I was 16 and 17 years old, 15 years old, that's when some, some of the young girls back in my day, they was winding up with boyfriends. They, they had boyfriends of their own. And so one night, one day, I was with um, this boy. I'm going to use, um, what name can I call him for an example? Babe. You know, when it comes to your mind at the present time. Well, um, I'm going to use, I'm going to use for an example like Robert. I'm not going to use his real name. But like for example, this this dude named Robert that I used to go to school with. Well, anyway, he wanted to take me to the movies. I told babe about it. Mm -hmm. So he wanted to take me to the movies. And um, he said, can you go out, you know, tonight? I want to take you to the movies. I said, well, let me ask my adopted mom. And I, I, said, I said, Robert, I'll call you back. So Robert, you know, he said, okay, call me back. So I went to go ask my adopted mom. I said, mama, can I go out on the, I said, can I go out to the movies tonight? And here's what she told me, y'all. She said, yes, of course. And then, next thing I know, by the time I get dressed, she said, Sherry, come here for a minute. I said, okay. She said, I changed my mind. I said, Mama, you said I could go. No, I changed my mind. This is a school night. It's a school night. I said, okay. I kind of got mad. And uh, I kind of rolled my eyes at my mama. My adopted mom. This is not my real mama now. My adopted mom. I rolled my eyes at her. And she said, you better not roll your eyes at me no more. I rolled my eyes again. And um, she told me to go to my room. I went to my room. I was so mad, y'all. I told babe about it. I was so mad. I, my, my fist was balding up. I wanted to, like, ooh. That's how mad I was getting. Because she said one thing and then she going to change her mind. So then went to school the next following day. And I was in the seventh grade. In the seventh grade. I never will forget. I was in the seventh grade. Then my adopted mom told my, my brothers, like my, my, my blood brother, my biological brother, and, he t and she told, forgive me, <coughs> and she told my adopted brother to keep an eye on me. Tell me, keep an eye on your sister. Don't, let her, don't allow her to talk to no boys. So, it was some rumors mm -hmm. going around the school. About me and some some dude named um name um name uh what what did I tell you his name was? Uh, Johnny. Yeah. Johnny. I know they real names, but I'm just using them because, you know. But it was some rumors going around about me and Johnny to my uh, Sherry and uh, Johnny is behind the school building. And so, my brothers and them, 
they went to go look for for Johnny, and they beat they beat the you know the mess out of this dude. And so I goes home. I get home, and they said my adopted mom had a talk with me. She said, "Sit down." She said, "Was you behind the school building with a boy?" I said, "No, mama. This was my adopted mama." Now, y'all. Don't get me wrong. This was my adopted mom. And so, she said, you better not never be behind no school building with a boy. I said, mama, I wasn't. So, from then on, boys, they was a, they were scared to talk to me. To my, you better not mess with her. Her brother's never get you. You better not get with her. Her brother's never get you. It's like, I'm walking with my books in my hand, head down, didn't want to look up at nobody. My teachers them used to have to make me hold my head up. And I would not hold my head up. My head would be down like because that's how I felt. I felt like my life was you know it was just going downhill. I didn't have no good life. And so I was always by myself. It wasn't my fault. But this is the reason why I don't have any kids right today. Because of my childhood, my childhood being robbed out of my life. So this is not my fault. And then after I had graduated, still boys wouldn't even hardly talk to me. And I even told babe about it. Babe, what did you tell me? That was what? It happened to me wrong thing, wrong. I'm talking about like when I told you like after I had graduated mm -hmm. and then boys, they still wouldn't even talk to me. That's why I think. They was they were still afraid to talk to me. So when I when I turned nineteen, you know, I was still single. But that wasn't my fault, y'all. Not with no fault. And this is the reason why I'd rather sit down and be honest with y'all, the reason why I don't have any kids. And then you know you know, you get with the wrong person. You thinking this person wants kids, but then this person don't even want no kids because they too busy going, 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 going here and yonder. That wasn't my fault. The person that I used to be with years ago, I wanted kids. His mama even, you know, I was I was like in my twenties back then. But his mama wanted wanted her first grandchild. Her first grandchild. But did he want kids? Babe could tell you. If he wanted kids, he would have he would have stayed at home. That's right. And he would have, you know, forgive me for saying this, but T M I, <laughs> he would have took care of business. That's right. Am I right, y'all? So that that's not my fault. That's not my fault. I'm not upset. But you know what? God will bless me. Mm -hmm. God will bless me to have kids. So this is the reason why I say, you know, yeah, I'm going to answer this question. And I know kids are a big responsibility. It's different. It's different. When you have your kids and then to be babysitting, babysitting and having your own kids is different. And I know it could be a headache sometimes. But you know what? God can help me through this. If God helped each and every one of you all to help raise up your kids, he can do the same thing for me. Am I right? Amen. Can I get an amen? Amen. So, you know, 
If some of you all want to pray for me, pray for me. That's all I'm asking. I know, I know that I'm going to get some feedbacks, but I would try my back. I would try my best to answer them. But y'all just pray for me. Pray that I do become a mother because I didn't call today. Babe was sitting right here. I called the I called the, the fer, fertility clinic, and me and Babe, we're gonna save up the money, and we're gonna make our first appointment, and we're gonna take y'all along on this journey. Amen. And I know some of you all. I know if y'all don't want to pray, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna pressure you to pray for me. I'm not going to pressure nobody to pray for me. But if you want to, and if it's your desire to pray for me, then we, me and babe, we would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Amen. Because this would be my first, my first, y'all, my first child. And I know, you know, but I'm not going to go back through that. But y'all just pray for me that I do become a mother. Amen. Jan, I'm praying for you that you become a mother. I'm praying for women who's in my, who's in my shoes that don't have kids, but they would love to have kids. Me and babe, we both praying for y'all. Amen. I'm not the only one. There's plenty of women out here who don't have kids. But they looking they looking into becoming a mother. I know that. And I'm praying for you, Jan. Any any other woman that's out there. If you ain't never had any kids and you want to become a mother, let's Let's stand in the gap for each other. Let's pray for one another. Pray for me and I pray for you. Babe is praying for me. Amen. Babe will pray for y'all. Amen. Who's ever in the same situation, in the same boat, that you ain't got no kids but you want to become a mother. Amen. And like I'm always saying, don't let nobody block your blessings. On becoming a mother. Amen. Keep your head up. Keep on shining. Bright like a diamond. And don't let nobody steal your joy. Amen. Keep your head up. And keep on moving. 